What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we've got some new Saurian Republic cards we need to be talking about. We've got some dinosaur cards which are going to be coming out in Mass Mutation, the upcoming Keyforge expansion, and I'm a little bit excited because, and I think I've not made much of a secret about this, kind of love me some dinosaurs. So I figured we should have a talk about some of the new cards that are coming. And given that we've got four that have been revealed, I thought, right, let's have a look at all four. Let's do it in one video. Let's go in alphabetical order. And let's start off with Faust the Great. How great is he? You're pretty great. Like, as, as far as the Saurian Republic goes, this is phenomenal. Now, it's a four-power, zero-armor creature. And it reads... Your opponent's keys cost one more amber for each friendly creature with amber on it. Oh, yes. You see, ladies and gentlemen, what it is that the Saurian Republic do so gosh darned well is they exalt. That's their thing. Exalting is where you take an amber from the common pool and you put it on your creature. And there are downsides, don't get me wrong, there are downsides. Because if you take it from the common pool, your opponent destroys that creature. When a creature is destroyed, the amber goes to the opponent of that creature. What that means is you exalt to put an amber on you, your opponent destroys the creature, they get the amber, that's not good. Well, you see here, now, okay, right, to be fair, if they destroy you while you're playing around with this, that's very bad. Because they get all your amber back, and then they get rid of Faust the Great, so their keys get cheap again, and it goes very, 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 very wrong. But before that, you exalt all your creatures, and your opponent's keys can be costing six, seven, eight more amber. That's pretty phenomenal. I mean, when you play Faust the Great, you exalt a friendly creature, or you may. It's not a you have to, it's a you may. You get a choice. But this is brilliant. So many of the Saurian Republic creatures are really built around the exalting mechanic. And what we really want is a way to make exalting work for us. Now we have it. And then, of course, you've got cards like Tribute, for instance. Tribute gives you an amber bonus, and the most friendly, powerful creature captures two amber. So now there's another creature with amber on. And then that means that your opponent's keys cost one more amber. What you really want here is a card like Prefectus Ludo. Now, we don't know if Prefectus Ludo is going to be in the set or not. But Prefectus Ludo gives all of your other friendly creatures destroyed, move each amber on this creature to the common supply. So, And I don't know if it's in the set or not. We're still at that stage. We don't have a set list. These are just examples. But if Prefectus Ludo is in the set, or you get it as a legacy card, which is also possible... Then all of a sudden, your opponent's keys cost one more amber for each creature you've got with any amber on. But then if they get destroyed, your opponent doesn't even get the amber back. In a house with less exalting or capturing, maybe this wouldn't be a phenomenal card. In the Saurian Republic, assuming the Saurian Republic looks in mass mutation similar to how it did in Worlds Collide, this is an over-the-top ridiculous card. Hedonistic Intent. Or hedonistic intent, but that's however you like. I'll probably bounce between them. One number bonus when you play it. And when you play, you exalt each flank creature. So you know how I said a minute ago, it depends how into exalting the Saurian Republic are. Turns out, still pretty into exalting. Still very much seems like it's their bag. The thing to remember here is, it's each flank creature. Yours and your opponent's. The other thing to remember is that, as I've explained a couple of times, the Saurian Republic, generally speaking, is a house that is built to have amber on. You're built to exalt. You've got cards like Prefectus Ludo to try and make sure that you're good. Well, great news. Unless you're playing against another Saurian house, you're probably not playing against somebody who is set up that way. See, see where we're going with this, ladies and gentlemen? Do you see where we're going with this? It now all of a sudden puts you in a brilliant position where you're exalting, but you've got a deck that's built to do so. And you're making your opponent's flank creatures exalt, so then you destroy them and steal the amber. If played correctly, and if in the right deck, this is a phenomenal card. Gives you an amber, 
plus gives you two creatures of your opponents with amber to go after and try and steal, plus exalts two of your creatures which can be bad but can work out beautifully. And here's the thing, right? Even if you exalt your creatures and your opponent destroys them and you've got no way to take advantage of your exaltation, well, your opponent's still exalted too, so that's a draw, except you get an amber bonus, so you're still winning the exchange. But if you've got cards that can take advantage of exalting while getting an amber bonus, while getting rid of a couple of your opponent's creatures to exalt, yes, absolutely love it. How about Spoils of Battle? Another card that gives you an amber bonus. And it reads, when you play it, a friendly creature captures one amber. One creature captures one amber. Each creature with amber on it captures one amber from its opponent. This is one of those cards where you have to be very, very clear and you have to play it in the exact right time and the exact right way. Now, it gives you an amber bonus. That's lovely. But if you're playing against a deck where your opponent's got four amber on their creatures and you don't then they're capturing four amber and you're not or you're capturing one but yeah that that that's it it's not ideal now worst case scenario for you you capture two amber a friendly creature captures an amber then each creature with amber on it captures an amber and of course you've now got a creature with an amber on by virtue of the first part of the card you read them top to bottom but the other thing is your opponent might be capturing from you. And that's what we don't want to happen. That's when things can potentially go very, very wrong. That's what you've got to watch out for. If your opponent's got more creatures with amber on, not a good idea. Even if your opponent doesn't, if it's going to take you from seven amber down to four, that means you're not going to be forging a key on your next turn. It might not be worth it. Especially if it's taking your opponent from four down to zero, they weren't forging a key anyway. So you've got to be careful. But remember what I've been saying all the way along in this video. The Saurian Republic have always been made to capture and exalt. They are creatures that have amber on. And it doesn't matter whether you exalted or whether you captured. Spoils of Battle says that each creature with amber on it captures one from its opponent. Yours and your opponent's. But it doesn't matter how the amber got on there. Oh look. It's more reason to exalt. Yeah, that's pretty gosh darn good. Not to mention it's one more creature with Amber on to take advantage of Faust the Great. Yeah, th this one also seems pretty good. I know I'm seeming very up on these cards. Might just be because I adore the Saurian Republic. But these cards are kind of fun. And we've still got one more to talk about. The brilliantly named Technosaurus. One of my favorite names we've seen so far. Five power, zero amber, so more powerful than average. When you play, you may exalt Technosaurus. Again, we love exalting, but it is an optional thing. But if you do, you deal free damage to a creature. Could be yours, could be your opponent's. Now, I'm going to go for the regular example here, the, the, the one we always go for. It's Brend the Fanatic. It's always Brend the Fanatic. Brend the Fanatic is an over-the-top good card, because when it's destroyed you steal free amber, and it's got free power, so it would work beautifully. Sometimes you'll want to use this against friendly creatures. Most of the time you'll want to use this against your opponent's creatures. And like I've said, there are many ways to take advantage of exalting. You've got stuff like Prefectus Ludo. You've got stuff like Spoils of Battle. You've got stuff like Faust the Great. But even if you don't want to use it, that's fine. You don't have to do so, but if you do, you deal free damage. That's pretty good. And when you reap, you discard a card from your hand to draw a card. This is a sneaky good ability. Now, you don't get a card advantage here. You're cycling cards. Something we've seen a little bit of already in Mass Mutation. You're not coming out of this exchange with more cards. If you start it with a four-card hand, you discard a card, draw one. Now you've got the same number of cards you still got four cards two important things to note you discard before you draw which is the wrong way round well it's a worse way round anyway because of course if you draw first you've got a greater choice from which to discard and secondly it is not optional 
The only time you don't is where you have a zero card hand. That's why it says if you do. If you have a zero card hand, you can't discard, so you can't draw. Otherwise, you have to. But a general rule here is you discard a non-Saurian card that you don't want anymore. And occasionally a Saurian card, I suppose, if you really don't want it. And then you get to draw a card. So it's a five power creature, does some cheeky damage, can exalt but doesn't have to, and lets you cycle through cards when you reap. Again, I think there's a lot to love here. Now, the interesting thing about Technosaurus is it's actually a special rare. And special rares usually have some kind of other mechanic going on but unfortunately we've not been told or shown enough about this to really give a proper knowledge or opinion I, I don't know why it's a special rare but something is going on for now ladies and gentlemen i like these cards but i'd like to know how much you like these cards oh look there's a comment section go nuts would you but be nice and then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we talk Keyforge and Transformers and Final Fantasy and Digimon and all the games we're excited about. And do please consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get weekly bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.